Everyone say Chroma Con! Chroma Con! We are on our way to ChromaCon, and if you're anything like me, then you have been paying attention to the mess that is happening online. Yes, they have changed venues. Also, I almost did work for this con, but we'll talk about that a bit later, so... Of course, it had to be raining today, and this really affected the con, but I'll show you exactly why later, and it will shock you, because... It was something. <laughs> Anyways, as soon as we got inside, it was extremely cramped, but the volunteers at the front desk were very nice and they helped me put my umbrella in a bag so I wouldn't get water everywhere. Now that we had our badge, we met up with my bestie, Sydney, and we headed to the marketplace, which was just a few steps from the main room. It was small, but I was actually impressed with the amount of artists they were able to fit inside of this very small space. Um, here's a video of Sydney freaking out because she saw her, I think the kids call it bias. Um, sorry, I don't know too much about K-pop, but I respect the hustle. Next, we walked the two steps back to the main part of the con. We could barely move. The aisles were so small, it was hard even for one person to pass by. Of course, I was super happy to see some chunky cool earrings and some Lolita fits. We kind of just squished through this row and then came around back where there was a little cafe and some more booths from other cons. It, yeah, in this video, you can clearly see the back of the room. So it was very tiny. So at this point, you're probably thinking, why did I spend $50 to do this? Um, Really, I'm just curious. Uh, and I'm actually not that mad about it. Mostly because I actually really enjoyed the community that this con brought together. All of the artists were incredibly sweet and all of the cosplayers were sweet. I'm about to show you some cosplayers soon, but let me tell you a bit about the artists. There were several artists who were like, you know what, I, you know, can survive and or this is my hobby or I don't need to table here. So I'm going to give my table to someone who needs it. The sad part about when things happen where cons get canceled or, you know, change venues and really hurts the artists and the guests here. It's expensive to be an artist alley too. You have to pay for your booth. You have to pay for transportation, possibly a hotel, not to mention all the products you need to have. And also from the guest's point of view, a lot of guests had to drop out, understandably so. And if you thought this couldn't get any worse, let me tell you, this is when the rain becomes a big issue because the panels were outside. So we ventured outside to check out the panels. This is the panel place. <laughs> Bro, we... Oh, damn, not the fire. This is like an alarm. Bro, we... Okay, I'm waiting for it to pass. We just found out that's the panel room, and there's one more. And when you guys see this panel room, I kid you not. Yeah, you saw that right. So it wasn't just me. Anyways, while I try not to fall down these steps, let's talk about how I almost worked for this con. I actually applied to be a part of the cosplay cafe at Chroma Con. And I can say now I definitely dodged a bullet. I did end up getting in and I actually was super excited because I've always wanted to be a part of a maid or cosplay cafe at least once in my cosplay career, just to see if I like it. And it seems like such a cute and fun time. I felt like the amount of work I would have to do was a lot for what I would get out of it and I wouldn't really be comfortable. And one of the things that I really didn't like is that we were supposed to wear the same cosplay all three days of con. And I was like, damn, it's gonna stink. The main cafe is gonna stink, so who's gonna want Okay, enough of the bad. Let me tell you, we had a lot of fun, even though this was a rough con. Location-wise, the community that this con attracted was amazing. There were so many cool cosplayers. Y'all, look at their hair. It is gorgeous. And this next person, honestly, my craftsmanship judge bones were tingling because this mask was so cool. It lit up and it was made out of paper. I rarely see people use paper, so this really impressed me. 
And of course, we had a lot of really cute jujitsu kaizen cosplayers that all used their natural hair. It was really cute because I guess their older brother was dressed as their bodyguard, which is super fun. And you know, the One Piece cosplayers are absolutely going to kill it every time. More jujitsu kaizen cosplayers and new YouTubers. They're so cute. I can't wait to see them at more cons. And there was this huge Jujutsu Kaisen group. So of course I had to take a pic because y'all slay. Just look at the way they all use their natural hair. You're so iconic. And this cool cosplayer, I forget the character, but they looked really cool. And I was like, they needed a cosplay contest because this would do well. Anyways, the time was actually pretty fun. I had a really good day and we we ended up going to get ramen and boba and it just, I was pretty happy with this. We'd go back. Peace out. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, I recommend checking out my other small con vlog right here. See you soon.